Good morning, it's coffee talk, baby. Wake up, rise and shine. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, baby. Morning, Zane. What's going Hi, on, guys? Man. Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. <laughs> I'm your host, Heath, and this is... Come on, baby, it's coffee talk. This is a joke, right? No, this is dead ass. We're recording the podcast right now. All right, come on, get ready. Oh, my God. <laughs> Put some damn clothes on. <laughs> oh, hold on. I got you something. Baby, we've been up in Adam. Guys, it is 645 right now. Come on, baby. Chip is this dead, dead ass? It is dead 645 ass. in the morning. Here you go. We got you it's some coffee. It's what? Zane is not a morning person. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is this for real right now? Here, come on. Ready? This is, this is where the intro starts. ba da ba ba da up, 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 up. Okay, 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 okay. All right, guys. Uh, so this week. Okay, well, welcome back to. Oh my. Oh shit. <laughs> What'd you put there? Why would you put the Why would you put the coffee in the cup holder? <laughs> I said, "Good morning, baby. I got you a little coffee." <laughs> well, go make me another one. <laughs> oh, time to get a new carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings us to our next one. <laughs> Is that actually 6.45 in the morning? Yes. Also, I got you that damn coffee, you ungrateful bastard. Bastard. <laughs> I'm like, do you think I should get Zane something? I feel bad. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Are you in your underwears? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't like to wear any clothes when I sleep. First pantsless podcast. <laughs> How we feeling, baby? I'm feeling good now. Now I got to feel good. Now you're feeling good. I feel like that guy in that in the, when he got intervie- interviewed after <laughs> surfing. And he, did, and he came whoop, whoop. That's, so that's what confused. it was like when you just knocked the coffee off. Wapa, wapa, <laughs> exactly. You look confused. Fuck, I am confused, and I feel bad because this carpet is now ruined. <laughs> it's okay. Once you ruin one of Heath's carpets, but you, you kind of get what? over now, it. It's, <laughs> it smells like coffee now. So does it feel better? Like, are you awake? No. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> I, I woke up this morning and I was like, let's freaking do this. Yeah. I feel amazing right I now. I bet you, well, you guys probably had time to get up. Brush your teeth. Shower. Get a couple laughs out of the way, you know? It started off as a joke, too. Yeah. Like, we were like, we wake up Zane and we do the podcast. And then we kind of just looked at each other. And oh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, they are not kidding. It is 7.08. This is been, the earliest he's ever been up. I haven't been up this early for for years since school years. since preschool <laughs> maybe let's make a little a little new habit out of it all right give us a riff zane yeah so what's been going on give, no, no no give us a give us a it's coffee talk where's the coffee on the floor <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> you forgot i can't i, I can't i got a, a cup being made for you right now it's fine, it's fine. okay it had to heat up i don't zane, give it. us a little riff like a joke yeah <laughs> no. that. let me hear that oh okay, wait knock knock no, no, oh, no, say it's coffee towel, man. No. A run. Is that the wrong word? A run. Isn't a riff like a joke? Like, it gives a little riff. I was thinking like a riff off. A riff off? A, a riff, riff off. off. Like pitch perfect. <laughs> what is happening? That's what? a pitch off. No, pitch perfect. There's a part of, there's a scene called the riff off. And they start like singing and battling. Yeah, you know when they charge you more for something, Dude. <laughs> it's a riff off. <laughs> My chest hurts. Let me get his coffee. He needs his coffee. He's no, I, no, I don't. I know I don't. I'm, I'm being dramatic. It's crazy. coffee talk, no, baby. <laughs> yeah, it's coffee talk, baby. Yeah. Whoa, so wow. not too bad. Speaking right, of pitch perfect, that was pretty <laughs> pitch perfect. <laughs> oh fuck! All right, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Sounds like sweet relief is on the way. I'm setting your coffee down next to you. Boom. I thought we all agreed on we film would film today. <laughs> <laughs> we are filming today. Well, I, well, I know today, but <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what do you what do you got going on for the rest of the day now that, now that you're up at Ass Crack of Dawn? I'm going on a flight somewhere exotic. Oh, Whoa. Mm-hmm. as you should, as you deserve. <laughs> a hot ass Florida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's exotic. No, exotic. no, we're nice. To me, that's that's a tropical vacation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it rainforest. To you. Yeah. To you. Yeah. Well, at least our heat wave has been warming you up. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Ready for it. And have you heard of the tornado that's happened in Miami? No. There's- I saw a bunch of water. Sp- Do you guys know what a water spout is? Yes. yes. 
tornado, tornado in the water. Hold on. Oh, wait. Maybe it was a tornado in the water then. <laughs> It's like when you fill your sink and then you start draining it and it goes. It's one of those water spinnies. (laughs) That looks like like War of the World. Yeah, he said six water spouts spotted in the Gulf at once today. The one in South Florida that just happened, it was a water spout that turned into a tornado. I thought it was the other way around. Oh my goodness. What on earth? That's in Florida? Talk about a joke, huh? Where they're like, no, we're just kidding. It turned into a fucking tornado. I didn't know Florida had tornadoes. I'm wondering if like it works the same as a hurricane where once it goes in the water it gets stronger. Is that a thing? I bet. I it's, bet it's, it's fueling so. itself. Yeah. We know nothing about think, how any think, natural disasters work. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, bet, right. Yeah, right. meteorologist Mariah Amato weighing in. Uh bet. yeah. There's a thirty percent chance that it's already raining. <laughs> Kenny said he could tell when it's about to rain. Because of his knees. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. My oh. joints ache before a, a heavy rainfall. <laughs> oh, We're laughing, cool. but he's serious. Oh, he's dead ass wait, serious. Yeah. Wait, wait. When, you're, when your ankles are what? <laughs> knees. Or your knees are knees. what? I feel like it, it happened more in Florida because, you know, like the humidity and everything. I would just be able to tell whenever uh, there was some barometric pressure changes because my knees would start aching a little bit. It, that's like a common thing. If you look it up, like people's joints hurting. If you have like bad well, arthritis. Well, don't say it's a common thing. Sounds, just let it, sounds, let it be a, it sounds let it be made a superhero. Up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm basically one of the X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> that's really funny. It's kind of cool. It is. What, Mr. Would our, what, what would our weather names be? Hmm. Hurricane Heath. <gasps> That's a good one. I like. Thank you, Bubba. Give me one. Give me one. Uh, 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 hurric- no. <laughs> Hurricane Tortilla. <laughs> <laughs> Hurricane Zane also sounds kind of good. Jo- jokes are coming in today. Back for me. to you, yeah. Monsoon Mariah. <laughs> Monsoon. <laughs> Mudslide Mariah. Oh, God damn it. That was, damn. that was even better. I think it starts with a K. <laughs> Catastrophe with a K. <laughs> Catastrophic as, Kenny. As long as it sounds like it. Ooh, I, uh, tsunami Zane. Tsunami? <laughs> Tsunami. 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 I like that. You think anybody grows up and is like, I want to be a weatherman? There's a science center by my house, and they had like a, a room that you go into and you can like be a weatherman and see how it actually like works and stuff. So I did that. Did they have that job in Wanadu City? A weatherman? Like, yeah. I don't know. I did they have anybody on go. camera? Like, was that a thing? Like, did you, would you walk through the city? You'd see a TV that had a kid on it, like, reporting the news. All I know about it was from the commercial. You know, what a new city. Yeah. Kids, kids can, can do, do what they, they want to do. do. Right. Whoa. I never actually got to go. I don't think my parents cared enough about my career choices in life down oh, the they, road. They really Clearly. <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> I really, for some reason, I really wanted to be a dentist. You hate the dentist. I know. <laughs> that doesn't I, I, even make sense. I think it's because of all the tools and shit like it, it always interested me like that like just that just everything they had to use always like as a kid it was like oh what, what about a carpenter or <laughs> jesus was a carpenter no yeah. i it's, didn't see enough carpenter work or carpenters in my life Zane goes, what do they do they do carpets <laughs> <laughs> carpenter it said that uh want to do city you could work at a theater a circus oh that's prepared you for this podcast i should have done want to do city <laughs> Hospital, movie studio, recording studio, courthouse, bakery, dentistry office, wow. Zane, public park, library, mine? Mime? Mine. Like you could work in the mine. Work in a coal yeah. mine. Oh, yeah, mining. Okay. Archaeological uh, site, oh, yeah, among yeah. other locations. That one. Wow. What a great idea. If that was in to... 2020. There's oh none God. open anymore. A right? vlogging room. Oh, my God. Why there do... actually would be, though. That's what's sad. Yeah. Why don't they have something like that? Because it, it, it did seem like really smart. It is really smart. Because we're brainwashing the kids, man. We don't want them to grow up and have any goals or anything. What are the YouTubers. YouTubers. That would so be in the new Wanadu City. Instagram YouTubers. Influencer. Imagine all these girls, little Instagram influencers. All right, honey, you're gonna pose with this. We're gonna product. do a photo shoot. Go ahead, sell the product. Yeah, right. it's like photography marketing. Uh huh. Oh my god. Make sure at the end you say swipe up. Guys, pick a br- pick pick a brand you wanna promote. <gasps> we have teeth whitening. They're all like off brand names. We're promoting. Crust white strips today. <laughs> <laughs> I d- I'm just surprised it wasn't like a chain. It, that was literally the only one. Was the one by us? I, the one. I no, no. There was. I think there was one more. Right. It says Want to Do City was an indoor role playing amusement center at the Sawgrass <laughs> Mills in Sunrise, Florida. <laughs> Very wow. specific. That's the. It's the only one. That's indoor cool. role playing. Whoa. <laughs> Maybe that's why my parents have been taking. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, 
I want to do I want to do role playing, mom. Kids can do what they want to do. Kids want to do what? Do what they, whatever they want to do. We will not be taking no. you there. Mm-mm. You know what I want you to be doing? Shutting your little ass up. She goes, you can stay home. This is one of don't city. Do you have a, a little flight today you got to catch later? Yeah. Um, well, speaking of flying, we've had some problems with flies. Oh, my God. That's oh true. Oh, my God. What? Give us some. We massacred, no joke, 30 to oh, 40 flies, flies in yeah. the house. Well, that's because of my zapper. Over the last couple days. Uh, no, baby, you before later. your zapper. Oh, we were putting in the hard work. Yeah, we were putting in the manual the labor manual before we got labor. here. <laughs> this hat. Has about 15 confirmed kills under its belt. Yeah, very good. <laughs> Just saying. And these hands, <laughs> I've got about be 17. Weapons. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. Like, apparently, a lot of people have been having issues with flies, even all across the U.S. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they're they're coming in the house with, I don't think through doors. They're coming yeah. in through vents and shit because the amount of flies that we all have in our houses, like, it makes no sense. I don't understand it. But we will literally kill eight of them. Be like, whoo. <laughs> Turn around and just, and no. they're just back. And it's naughty. We're not even exaggerating. Like the day that we killed like twenty flies in Heath's house, we thought we killed the last one with like this. This is when I brought the zapper yeah. over. We're like, all right, thank God. And I think all the friends of from of the flies I died. I think we're just like attack and all came out the, at the yeah. same time it literally felt like braveheart or something and they all just started like rolling through it smelled like death in there because it just smelled like electrocuted the burnt. it's like chris yeah kenny has mm. a video actually of a a, a mass grave yeah um, <laughs> that's pr in one what'd you kill it with one thirty uh, second sitting a uh, towel just smacking him Smack that bitch. Dang. Yeah. Kenny, 13. Right. There was 13 of them. But we've been pretty good. I don't I don't think I've had any in the last day. I think we I think I we think sent you, a yeah, message. There, hasn't been, there actually hasn't been any, right? No, and I and we we've been so trained to like kill all of them and then have a bunch come back that I was just ready for I was ready for there to be more. I was ready for to kill more with the fly zapper because that was actually fun. Yeah, you don't know what you have till it's gone, right? Yeah. Exactly. Until it flies away. It's it's it's, <laughs> it's very satisfying just hearing the shock that of pop. the fly's bone snapping. It's a good one, but I think the uh have you seen the bug assault? The bug assault? No. Yeah, it's a it's a gun that shoots salt at flies. I want it <laughs> so bad. What do you mean? Shoot, like, like, a, like a salt, salt water? Like it just no, shoots salt. salt, like actual grains of salt. The fact that you're talking about shooting bugs with salt, you just said flies have bones. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> well, baby, I'm 75 percent there. That's okay. why I'm almost aware. And 100 percent incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> we got pretty, uh, pretty comfortable over the last few days with the heat wave in the pool. Yeah, it's it's crazy. You don't realize how much like fun a pool is until you like go into it like i haven't really used it too much <laughs> since we moved in uh but it has been so nice been in there every day just kind of putzing around i don't i don't even do, go do into the, i don't even go in the pool because i like it's still so hot outside <laughs> to me like like when i'm outside of the pool it's still like i can't breathe if the it, like because of heat wave the air is so thick wait but that makes sense no well, to me, no. but but like, to me. To, like okay, it feels well, like it feels like Florida outside right now. Like when you're in Florida, so why aren't outside, you swimming? Go in the water because I don't even want to be outside. Oh, so you don't hot. even I'd step outside. Be, I'd got rather it. be like in the AC. Like oh, the got pool, it. I thought pool. you were like, well, I don't swim because it's so hot out. I was like, wait, what? Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> our AC has been broken. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So it's been hotter inside than outside. Oh, so you have uh, to just be sitting. In so the yeah, pool. our our pool has been our, our saving grace. Well, and, and you Who have the a hell is grace. You were saving grace. <laughs> what, what was she drowning at girls over? <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention the fact that you have a son in the back now. My, my, my back house AC broke too. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is fixed now. It is an igloo. It is fixed now. Yeah. So the uh, the thermostat broke. So I uh. I bypassed the thermostat, and now it's just running constantly, and you can't turn it on or off or set any temperature. <laughs> it's just on. So it's just it's super cold in there. Freezing. Yeah, that's probably why I, I woke up this morning. I love that. Like really cold. Yeah, no, like I love really cold. Then go. I keep my get lost. I keep my house at like Beat sixty-four. It. Oh yeah, your house is so. It's cold. an it's an ice spot. Oh yeah, yeah, but, yeah but Zane's house is like uncomfortably cold <laughs> last time i heard someone say my house is uncomfortably un un uncomfortably uncomfortably cold was carly and i that reminded me because 
Carly said that she doesn't like to come over because it's uncomfortably cold at my house. And now that you just said that, made me think like, oh my god, that's probably why. Like, maybe we should think about guests and others. Yeah, <laughs> maybe think those, about other people. Oh my god, that's why people don't want to come over my house. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's why. That's why all my roommates. That's why all my roommates are gone. Are gone all the time because you haven't seen them in weeks. Cold. Was AC a privilege growing up? Is that why you like blasted all the time now? <laughs> no, no, it's just no, it's just my body it just gets really hot. He's because in my family, like AC was not a right. It was it was a privilege and like it was never on. Oh, so like you wanted AC I throughout. wanted My yeah. dad would freak out if we touched it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I never touched it. No, it didn't it was go never below like seventy eight degrees. Oh no. When it no, no. when it got over eighty, in we would Florida? kick it on. Yeah. Kick it on to eighty, uh, to seventy eight, oh and that was God. all we could have. And your house would totally turn into a sauna because you have wood. Oh, everywhere. My house is literally a, a log cabin in Florida. <laughs> oh my God. Wood everywhere, and it would just be like, <sighs> Mark, can we get a little bit? Like, <laughs> your mom, your mom is setting up those coals that you have in a sauna, <laughs> just putting water. On. Right. There's like eucalyptus like running. Yeah, like essential oils. Oh. I think that's why I like the AC so much now though. Like well, this is like this is like our house and I can like set it to what I want. But like I, I'm still respectful. I'm not my I'm not my, a savage. My friend in Florida, Ella, she they would purposely keep their um their they would they would actually turn off their AC and put the heater on a little bit <gasps> cuz they loved it. How, how they love making their house super Yuck. hot oh. which is oh, crazy no. i think i would rather it be cold inside a house than hot because i know most people like it a little colder yeah some people are just like weird with stuff like that though like david when we drive around in his car his, his Tesla, fireplace is on in august that's true his house is always hot um but his car he doesn't put any air conditioning on <laughs> windows up and it's just this stagnant he likes that feel of like that like suffocation just yeah. no movement just very just like oh no i can it makes me so uncomfortable yeah that's pretty bad i i i remember too in florida so many acs would go out of cars that the cooling thing wouldn't be happening but it would just be basically blowing, blowing warm air but i just do you ever remember just getting in a car and just being like i don't care if it's warm air i need it circulating yeah i just need the yeah. air circulating because that stillness in florida doesn't work it's like disgusting it like, does feel like you're in other people's air too it's like this like weird like shared feel, space shared air <laughs> yeah, yeah that's a good way to put <laughs> yeah. it share share if share, you will. shared air it does feel share like get in here <gasps> stop what don't, is that don't get me started. is that a hillary duff movie here we no go. It was oh, clueless. Come on. Oh. We just watched it. Come on, get a clue. Sorry about that. But yeah, it's good. I mean, we act like we've been like uh, we actually active in the pool. We were in the the same end of the pool for literally an hour just sitting. Sitting and <laughs> thinking of caption ideas. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to post pictures anymore because like I just don't want to think about a caption. Ca f yeah, fuck captions. <laughs> I really God. respect you guys so much more now that I see what you have to go through coming up with a caption every single time. So. But it's like, why though? Why do we need to feel, feel the need to come up with something funny in order to post a picture or something like... Right. Maybe post funny pictures and maybe you don't have to have a funny caption like me. Okay, maybe I'll just... <laughs> face tune every one of them make it look like i have a fat ass <laughs> just... okay you've done that too you've done that you've one time to share. promote my merch <laughs> well you see you're using it to promote your merch i use it just to promote my ass oh. this big old fat ass <laughs> i actually was inspired by mariah a couple weeks ago when you uh gave me an idea for a little game we could play so since uh all your friends work so hard on all their instagram captions i figured we could uh play a game where you guys try to see the caption guess and then who's guess whose caption it is i know who my friends are <laughs> yeah let's see let's, let's just say i am embarrassed i've put the caption exactly how it's spelled all the emojis everything so maybe it'll give you Ooh, guys that could oh, give, it, uh, up here. give yeah. it away nice we got round one i look like i've completely lost it i would like to thank my hairdresser my stylist and my mental breaking point for making this possible oh mariah's I, got a guess i already know it i know what it is too oh uh oh Here um this is somebody in our friend group correct I know who it is. You know for sure? Yeah, I know for sure. On the count of three, let's all say it at the same time. One, two, three. Scott. Scott. Ugh. There it yeah. is. Very I do not remember Scott that caption. I don't remember hair. that picture. I don't remember that hair. He has tattoos. <laughs> Next one is, I thought I was the cutest one in the pic until I saw the little baby toes. Crying emoji, crying emoji. I have no idea who this is. Huh. <laughs> until I saw the little baby toes. <laughs> um, I can guess. I'm ready. You know who it is? Uh, 
Yes. What's your guess? Um, Zane goes, I know exactly who it is. Uh, Todd. Todd was a good guess. Uh, you have to pay attention to the emojis people use. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Should we just see it? Ready? Yeah. You're all wrong. It was Aaron. Oh, fuck. Wow. She looked good. Oh, wow. Aaron has really funny captions. I thought about Aaron too, but I was like, oh, she doesn't like. She doesn't that didn't type like that. that. It didn't Aaron sound like yeah, her. Yeah, it didn't sound like her at all. Next one. We That's got Mariah. Pop and <laughs> Mariah. Every, every caption is two words. <laughs> and you know what really helps is the capital P in that. Oh, True. really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Mariah. God, it sticks out like a sore thumb. <laughs> Mariah. She goes into Pop and Lock. It's Mariah. Wow. Mm. And From me. September 30th, 2017. Oh, we wow. were so naive. We got the face of erectile That's dysfunction. Zane. It's either Zane or Scott. I keep guessing yeah. Scott, but Scott is very blunt. That's why I'm guessing that. Oh, the yeah, you're right. You're right. No, I'm going to guess Jason. Jason. I'm going to say Todd. Todd. Oh, that's oh, a, that's a yeah, that's a Todd. That's Todd humor. Is right everyone there. locking in their answers? That's Todd humor. Is anyone, everybody pop locking? <laughs> <laughs> Popping and locking in their answers. Um, yep. Yeah, let's go. We have a winner, Zane. It was yeah, Jason. Yeah, baby. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, this next one it says Corinna on her period, crying, oh, sad. I, oh, I know. Wait, wait, wait. Todd. I'll guess Todd too. Yeah. Three for Todd. Very good. Trick question. It was Corinna. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Hold on. I she would put her name in her own caption. I don't remember that picture. <laughs> Me neither. I'm surprised none of you Corinna even. Corinna posted herself crying. It none was of very you even taught guessed that it could have been her. Um, Zane. Carly. Your sleep paralysis demon asking for a snack. Yeah. What? You think that's Zane? Come on. Is it, you always talk about sleep paralysis demons. It's either Carly yeah, or Zane. Yeah, but this is like very Carly. You guys both had that sleep paralysis demon phase. <laughs> <laughs> phase. <laughs> Just a troubled teenage phase. It's right. Carly. It's Carly. Carly. It is Carly. Very good. Duh. Look at her makeup yeah. in this picture. I love it. It's part of the reason why I picked this. <laughs> Isn't my cousin so hot? New vid up. Link in bio. Zane. <laughs> <laughs> me <laughs> Zane Isn't my cousin It's oh, it, well, it's a girl Because if a guy did it That'd just be weird I feel like No it Because what who's, In your friend Who group? says new vid up Link in bio Which one of the girls say that None of them The guys do that I think I have a feeling you it's know, me I think it's either Corinna No Corinna wouldn't say New vid up Link in bio You've never Like she's posted videos though I'm on Corinna's page Like every day <laughs> <laughs> It kind of like like Heath would say, new vid up Lincoln bio, just like that. I'm gonna say Corinna. I'm saying me. <laughs> You're right. It's you. Oh, oh, 2016. It was where you were making. Cousin. You were making That's fun. Uh, the, fuck. That's funny. Yep. 2016. Ooh, I like this one. I found water on Mars. What's up, Matt Damon? What's up, Matt Damon? Who says what's All caps. up? There's this picture that I posted a long time ago that looked like I was holding water on a planet. Oh, that is Zane. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say oh. Zane. This is Zane. That's yeah. so funny that you wouldn't remember. Like, you wouldn't I be like, oh, I, that's When I read that, I'm like, what the fuck was I saying? I don't, like, oh. what, what does that even mean? It's definitely Zane. Zane. It's me. Go ahead. It's Jeff. <laughs> Oh. 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 <laughs> Zane goes, I wanted it to be me. Oh, 2016. That's 2016, funny. Jeff. I guess that makes sense. Praying yeah. for Zane's dignity. Um, that could be any of us. <laughs> Praying for Zane's dignity. Um, I'm going to say Matt. It just looks <laughs> Scott like Matt. It's Matt. Yes. Oh, wow. With <laughs> Damn, I remember that picture too. Oh my Cuties. gosh. Hedaya Do you mean newer ones? Ten. I don't know anything past 2017. <laughs> Can I read this? Sure. No filter. Many margaritas. Natalie. <laughs> Natalie. No. <laughs> it's Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> she looks good in blue. Yep. Strive for progress, not perfection. Oh, God. Oh, Strive go. for progress, <laughs> not um, perfection. Um, the fuck? It's obviously a joke. Or is it? Maybe. Is that Zane? I'm going to say me. And I bet it's like one of his face yeah. tune pictures with like a Zane. tiny waist. Probably. <laughs> it's Zane. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's exactly what 
what it is. <laughs> I put that right after the Natalie one on purpose because they both sound like they sound from similar perspectives. Right. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> Check for progress, not perfection. <laughs> I was about to say, Last hot one. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Last god, you one. are around us way too much. I'm oh sorry. My god. Right after this, I got lost for seven hours. Mm. Either David or Todd. David. I'm going David. I feel like it's like Todd hiking. <laughs> it's David it's at Coachella. David. Nice. Wow. Yeah. I think you Damn. guys did pretty well. Oh. Jeez, that's oh, you know, I'm fucking right here. Did you guys really just high five in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> PDA. <laughs> We'd like to thank uh, a couple of today's sponsors, uh, starting with my favorite, Liquid IV, baby. baby. It keeps him hydrated and back on his feet. Yep. Talk about ways you could stay hydrated throughout the day. Do you have a favorite water bottle? Do you have any interesting habits to remind yourself to drink water? Believe it or not, dehydration occurs daily in three out of four people with Liquid IV. Mm -hmm. You have the fastest, most efficient way to stay hydrated. Each serving helps you get as much hydration as two to three bottles of water. And I attest to that because I like to drink it. Every time before I start drinking alcohol, uh, it, it's my little treat, and like, it works. Mariah, Mariah knows because I'll be like, "I'm dehydrated." She's like, "You're not dehydrated," because I just like it tastes so good yeah. and it's like good for you. So it's just like, why yeah. not? The other night we drank like two bottles each, and mm -hmm. we're like, "Okay, this stuff really does work." And I will say that my favorite flavor is the acai. Ooh, yeah, that is that good. One hit different. You get a little power boost. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Liquid IV actually contains five essential vitamins. It has more vitamin C than an orange, and as much potassium as a banana what makes liquid IV so effective CTT baby cellular transport technology the optimal ratio of glucose sodium and potassium delivers water and nutrients into the bloodstream and to top it off liquid IV is donating 3.7 million servings in response to COVID-19 products are being donated to hospitals first responders food banks veterans and active military members correct liquid IV is available nationwide at Costco and Target or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code unfiltered at checkout Again, that's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code unfiltered at liquidiv.com. Get better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code unfiltered. And for our next sponsor, we want to give a big thank you to DoorDash. DoorDash always has our back when we're looking to get a nice meal delivered directly to our door. Between never-ending laundry cycles and incoming emails, you've got plenty on your to-do list. Give yourself one less thing to worry about and let DoorDash take care of your next meal. DoorDash is the app that brings you the food you're craving right now, right to your door. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your local go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, and the Cheesecake Factory, my favorite. Many of your favorite local restaurants are still open for delivery. Just open the DoorDash app, select your favorite local restaurant, and the food will be left at your door. DoorDash deliveries are now contactless to keep communities we operate in safe. Right now, our listeners can get $5 off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more more when you download the DoorDash app and use code unfiltered. That's $5 off and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code unfiltered. Don't forget that's code unfiltered for $5 off when you download the DoorDash app. And for our next sponsor, we'd like to give a big thank you to Ernest. Now's the time to get your student loan payments under control. You could be saving by refinancing your student loans with Ernest. If you've been making the same monthly payment on your student loans for the last couple of years, Odds are you could reduce your payment and save by refinancing with Earnest. Checking your new rate is fast and easy. To start, complete a few questions online. It only takes two minutes. Then you'll get your personalized rate estimate without affecting your credit score. Plus, there's no origination fee or any other fees. The internet loves Earnest customer service. They're rated 9.4 out of 10 on Trustpilot. So quit paying so much on your student loans. Let Ernest help you out and refinance with them. And now you can get $100 cash bonus when you refinance a student loan with Ernest.com slash unfiltered. Once again, you get $100 cash bonus when you refinance your student loan on at Ernest.com slash unfiltered. Not available in all states. Visit Ernest.com slash unfiltered for more details. Terms and conditions apply. Ernest student loan refinance loans are made by Ernest Operations LLC NMLS number 1204917. California financing law license number 605-478. Address 303 2nd Street, Suite 401N, San Francisco, California, 94107. Visit earnest.com slash licenses for a full list of licensed states. Um, I was going to ask you, uh, what was that? There was a documentary that you were like raving about. Oh, yeah. What was um, that? A couple nights ago, I was watching this Netflix docuseries. It was called uh, Inside the Toughest Prisons. Mm. It's crazy the way, the way they run system, like prison systems outside of this country. They're like fucking dumps. Like they literally have people living in like trash and like no cells, no beds. Right. We we're watching the certain one and people were literally digging through trash 
so they can find food to sell to other like to other inmates like what? that's how they live here there's like prisoners that like uh, that have shops that make that have like a food store they make food and sell it they set up like matches they have like boxing rings that they uh, that they televise what like they have like actual lot like prison matches that, that like it's fucking nuts it's a whole economy they're showing a prison system in in norway and it was like the most beautiful fucking prison. It oh, was like really? Like they I could it, I can imagine it's like on top of like a glacier or something. It looked more like a really high end like mental uh like a like a mental facility. Like it right. looked, it looks oh like a gosh, college it looks dorm. Like, yeah, they, they look treat like, you like they treat you with like utmost respect in there. You know, that's they, bigger than an LA apartment. That looks like a hot like a nice hospital. The whole point of going to prison in their country is that they want you to come out a better person. So you As come in, you, 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 you right, come right. to prison, they treat you with respect. They treat you the way that you would want to be treated. And, you know, like you take classes in there, you study, you have school, you have work. Mm -hmm. It's like forced rehab. Yeah. And you can't be in prison for more than, I want to say it was either 19 or 29 years. I didn't even in like, Norway. realize. 21. 21, 21 years, years maximum sorry. sentence. That's crazy. That made me want to go to that prison. Like I just said, because they were they were being like you were in like a five star hotel. They're doing that to, I guess I don't want to say rehabilitate. But it's like a correctional institute. Right. It's yeah. literally they're trying to correct a problem. They're not just putting them there to like right. forget about them. When you go to prison, you're in prison. That should be your punishment. Your punishment shouldn't be you're in prison and you get the shit beat out of and you have a ninety percent chance of dying because someone's going to shank you and like they th that, that in their eyes is like being in prison is because it means you're in prison like that's your punishment it's interesting that, makes though, sense. that it says that the longest sentence is 21 years but the like penal code over there says that you can be in prison up to 30 but the fact that they haven't given a sentence that's more than 21 uh, the years longest has been 21 i don't know but at the same time i'm like there's some shit that people do that i i, I don't think they should even be able to live right well, how do you so, judge that yeah i mean uh that's understandable. Like, I mean, like, yeah, you petty know? petty crimes. But if you're a fucking child rapist, I don't think you should be alive. Right. I agree with that. Well, yeah. They yeah. say that the 30-year sentence is kind of reserved for genocide, crimes against humanity, and other war crimes. Yeah. Did you grow up? Like, what was your thoughts on prison and just everything? Like, being a kid, like, having dare and, like, having cops come into class and, like, talk about I, jail. I always thought jail was, like, how they show it in cartoons. Like in my head, jail was always like like Tom and Jerry, like the, the the typical the cell the the, the, the cell yeah, bars yeah. like sliding with like the keys then, on a big ring. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big yes. ring. we went on a field trip to like see a jail. Did you no. do one of those? Yeah. No, no, I didn't get to do that. That's yeah, cool. I've always wanted to see, to see inside. Mm -hmm. We got to see like a cell and stuff like that. It's exactly what I thought it would look like. I'm sure like different places like look different. But it was like just the bars. You get like this bed and a metal toilet. And it's like, I was just like, oh. I remember though, like hearing about it. And in my head, like being a child, I thought it was something that could just randomly happen. And it was like my biggest fear that I would go to jail. I don't know why. I was just always terrified of it. Because I thought it wasn't like, I thought it was like really like common. And it was just like, it could happen to me. I think because also maybe our parents, just it was just a quick answer to be like, you're going to go to jail if you do that. Like, like turning on the light in the car. No, we'll go to jail. You know, oh, like little, yeah. little we things like that. I think it was just a quick, like, don't do that because this is going to like, just like you'll go, to, you could go to jail for that. I remember like crying, thinking about the possibility of me going to jail. Meanwhile, we're smoking cigarettes when we're 16. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I got over that pretty quick. <laughs> <laughs> in Pennsylvania, we have the Eastern state penitentiary in Philadelphia and we should take a field trip. It says it was once the most famous and expensive prison in the world. Oh. Isn't it crazy that currency is flowing through prison systems? Like it people, is people can get money and then you pay money to other prisoners for items. But like, how the fuck is money getting through there? And like, you could like buy cigarettes and dr like, where, yeah. where are you getting cigarettes? And can't you like buy shit off cops too? Yeah. I don't understand that whole like system. Like oh it's yeah, like we, a little monopoly. Like when in they there. make their own. Oh, I had to make my own alcohol. I had like what 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 tools yeah. do you have? Like I don't understand how that works. Toilet wine. Have you guys seen Empire? No. Uh -uh. No. It's insane. Like the amount of 
like transactions that take place from the outside to the inside like people have moles on the inside of prisons it's insane like that they 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 pass money back and forth if someone's in jail that's like a part of a gang that someone wants that's dead so they can pay someone off to like kill them in jail it's crazy i know that's not like an exact true story but people have commented on it and saying that yeah that's how the system is it's just like really sneaky and and like people that have cell phones that oh is have crazy. you seen have you seen prison tiktoks yes you haven't hit that on your for you page yet no prison tiktoks there's tiktoks that were filmed in prison like like now that doesn't pr- seem like, the, like prisoners idea. doing like the, the like like the popular dances yeah. in their orange jumpsuit like in their cell what? there was like three inmates that I saw. I found their video because they used my sound. Like they're like it, they're in their like cell, like doing the dance. But the bottom, like the music, says Mariah Motto se- original sound. Really? Yeah. It's <laughs> so bizarre. That's how I found it. Mariah goes on a prison tour. <laughs> Al Capone was in the Eastern State Penitentiary, so they have his cell on like display. Wow! Isn't that Spent crazy? Eight months there. Mariah walks by every time. It says it's his so time, haunted. His time was spent in relative luxury. It says it was at one point. Yeah, he had expensive. like the biggest cell. Oh, like, drug lords and cartels, they live good in prison when they were when they were uh taken. You know who yeah. had it the best though? Who? Pablo Escobar. Mm-hmm. Oh, he basically yeah. built his own prison for himself. His oh house. yeah. He was so above the fucking government at, at, during his time, it's fucking nuts. Yes. Yeah. Like imagine being so rich and powerful and like just so feared that you're like I'm not going to your prison. I'm going to build a mansion on top of this hill and I'll, I'll quarantine up here and this will be my prison. But he, no, he built, he, he told him he was going to build a prison. He did build a prison, but it was to his standard. You could rent it on Airbnb for the weekend for 10 K a month. <laughs> no. no, 10 K. <laughs> cool. That was pretty fucking cool. <laughs> we just watched a kind of gangbuster movie too. Oh, uh, tax collector tax collector. Oh, I heard the movie was awful you heard the tra- the tra- right. <laughs> the trailer looked really bad i was like i okay. could not watch that i am so confused the reason i watched it shia labeouf got his entire body tattooed for this role yeah that's fucking nuts got creeper written across his stomach Wait, actually tattoos? Tattoos? Yeah. oh i didn't know what ta- what tattoos he got he got he got what? creeper his his name in the movie is creeper that's an actual tattoo his entire body wait what i had no expectations of the creeper. movie i haven't even seen the trailer but the fact that he got it tattooed for this movie i was like oh this is gonna be some like shia labeouf right. epic type of tale like he gets this tattoo and i'm like oh my god this is gonna be some important thing right Watch the entire movie. He never has his shirt off. What? There's not once. There's, there's one, one scene, scene for literally, I'm not joking, like a second where his shirt is off. They don't even make a moment out of it. No. It's, it's, not, it's not ever like, it's not like a slow pan up on his body. Like you don't see anything. You can't even tell. Like I was so confused because I was like, this has to be so important because of the way they were hyping well, it up. He, well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Taking Shia's side real quick. He probably did think it was going to be a really important, probably a really Focal life-changing point. movie for him. No, no, I just – maybe when he re- – I'm saying when he read the script, he probably thought it was very good at the time and was like – and thought that this movie was going to be yeah. like a very – big turning point in his life it was gonna be a really good movie but it ended up not being a good movie i agree because so, i, I kind of compared it to suicide squad how jared leto thought he was going to be like a focal point in this movie and it was just gonna be this huge and movie he's for him. Like a side character that comes in every once in a while right he's just kind of like oh my god this is the joker this is my role as the joker that's like an iconic character i'm really yeah. gonna start method acting and doing all this crazy shit i feel like maybe that's what shia was kind of trying to do with this but I don't know how much of what they recorded made it to the final yeah. cut. I, I feel bad even talking bad about his movie because I really love him. Like, no, he's, he's incredible. He's like he he's was one of my favorite original. actors. He was good in the movie. I mean, yeah, he did a phenomenal job. It was just yeah. like, and, and I'm not one to bash movies because I'm not a movie critic. I like movies that people think suck, but it was just like it looked like the director <laughs> watched a bunch of movies and was like, oh. That was a pretty cool thing they did. Let me try to like try to recreate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like no, imagine like you're doing like Vine quick cut like type things, and then you're like, oh, I saw this thing from the Matrix. Let me try to do that. Oh, but then I saw this, and it was just like, 
it looked totally different throughout the whole movie. Yeah. There was just like no set cinematography style. It was just kind of all over the place. Some scenes were like fast paced. Others were like slow-mo. Our podcast. Some had mood right, lights. Exactly. <laughs> it's crazy. Movies these days, I swear, like, because I, I remember watching the trailer and I remember like not liking the way it was filmed. It's almost distracting. It's it's exactly it's it's so distracting when they make remakes of shows and it's almost too hyper realistic. It's like yeah. oversaturation and every all the shots yeah. are just like too good. You're exactly. kind of like eh. isn't it funny to think that when like 3D movies came out, they really thought like this is going to be it. This oh, is the future. This is we it. all thought this was gonna be <laughs> it. <laughs> that was 3D the peak. movies. Do they still make those? They make like no. 4D now, right? No, they don't. They don't make movies like that anymore. Not I, now. It's not the traditional like red and blue 3D. Right. right. Well, don't they have like the IMAX, IMAX theaters experience. that are like? Yeah. But they, I, I just don't think they make them anymore. When's the last time you saw, you saw a 3D movie come out? I mean, they're all kids' movies. Yeah. But I mean, they didn't used well, to be. They did Terminator. 3D. Do you remember that? Oh my god, they did. Terminator 3 D. D. <laughs> remember Final Destination 3 D? Oh, they did that? I remember yeah. that. Oh my gosh, yes. Wow. This shit always gave me a headache. I didn't yeah, like it. I never I never liked the 3D. But remember when they used to do like epic kind of crazy movies in like wasn't Avatar? Wasn't Avatar one of the Ooh, one big know. ones? Oh, that it was wasn't in, like, it wasn't 3D. It was more that high death high death because they didn't make you wear glasses to watch that movie the budget was one billion dollars what the new on one or the first one the second one billion the that's second like, one's one billion holy billion. shit wait like, th can that even be accurate wow i need to see the receipts if somebody gave you a billion dollars and was like i need this movie done do you think you can even, like i wouldn't even know how <laughs> to spend the money i'd be like oh what I'll say fifty percent cut. <laughs> say my commission. My we're gonna commission. scoop this way. That is insane. I've never seen a movie with a budget that big. Can you search? What do you Largest think the highest yeah. movie? What do you think the number one spot is currently? I think like six hundred. That that was that's. I'd my say five hundred. Oh, this is know. million. <laughs> well, oh wait wait wait. Well, the first Avatar could have possibly been I'm looking at this list i don't know how accurate it is but it says that avatar's number 22 and the budget was 237 million the first one the first that avatar. was number that's number 22 i don't know number one is avengers endgame wow with 400 million good get Look at pirates of the caribbean yeah on stranger tides wow but uh avengers doubled that over doubled that that's such a huge risk that's what it is avatar starts production today on four consecutive sequels over a billion dollar budget that's oh, what it is wow so they've okay. they've committed to making four sequels and the overall budget is gonna be a billion dollars four sequels that's what it sounds that's like That's a big commitment this article is from 2017 then maybe they've been working on it this whole time you never know they a must billion have. Dollar project, you're probably right i wonder what the what movie <laughs> has made the most like profit off of being like the the highest percent of oh, the percentage profit right like i know profit napoleon margin. dynamite cost a million dollars to make but they ended up making oh. like something pa unreal paranormal activity i think has the biggest oh because like, that cost nothing it i costs love nothing. paranormal activity like those numbers wow. don't even seem real it yeah. only cost fifteen thousand to make and then baby was... that ain't even close to what you spent on your 200 <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy when you that's really think so about that true. you could have made a paranormal activity i know do actors get a flat rate for like a show or do they get money every time it's like on tv they get their uh like episode cut. rate yeah and then like a like a residual it all depends yeah it depends on the contract you sign like i know for voiceover it's different i didn't know that on um on camera actors get residuals too every time that their show like the, is like the people aired. in friends yeah are just making so That's much what money i'm thinking from it still going yeah but like you can't i don't think you can get a deal like that if you're on um a series for the first time you know like i yeah. think that only comes after you've been you know, in the game. Like if they're like, we want you to do this and they don't really have the money. They're like, all right, just give me like 5% in whatever. Right. Cause, cause be. Uh, Josh and Drake and Josh, he, I, I think he said he never got like, he never got Royal uh, residuals from. Yeah. Oh, wow. Media. And they got, they fucking re-aired Drake and Josh. Oh my but gosh. They still are. They but still so do it. Yeah. 
fucking But that's much. because it comes from a production place of Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon knows how to argue their contracts, and Nickelodeon knows that basically whatever they do, it's going to have a big like following, I feel. Yeah. So they're not going to offer that up on a silver platter to anyone. They're not going to be like, oh, yeah, if we air this a million times, because they know they're going to air it like a million yeah. times. Yeah. So it's, it's better to just be like, offer them more money up front so that they don't have to keep on paying them over the years, over the years, over the years. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> Maybe that's why they don't do like, like Disney shows anymore. Like they don't they don't show Hannah Montana anymore. They should. Hannah Montana is so much better than the new shows they got going on now. Yeah, it is. Go back and watch them. They still they're they still hit. like good. Mm -hmm. They don't make. I mean, even cartoons like aren't as good as they used to be. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Is I know. Good. Only SpongeBob. 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 Who? SpongeBob. Don't is, get them started, mm, please. Is the North Star of animation. <laughs> Beep boop. <laughs> Ahoy, matey. So good. Oh, they're filming uh, season two of The Morning Show, by the way. I haven't seen season one. Gotta get I on that. Seen season one I have too, such a good. problem with, like, like I want to see The Morning Show so bad, but I what can't sit down and freaking watch. It's the one with Jennifer Aniston well, and Steve Carell and all Grace those people. We're in a morning show right now. I'm just saying, I, I like, don't have patience are. to sit down and watch stuff. I hope I get the glow from the morning morning sun on this side. You want me to open it? No, no, we're good. He's not ready. I'm not ready to... Speaking of production budget, um, Zane and I are excited to announce... Our engagement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, season two Baby, is coming up. I love you so up. much. <laughs> <laughs> I love you too. Um, season two is coming up. I know we've joked about being in it or being in whatever season we're in. It's still season one. But uh, season two is going to start after our 50th episode. So the 51st episode. Is going to be... The official season two, and we have a lot of stuff that we're changing. Yeah, we have we have a lot. We have a lot on our hand. Yeah, uh, but it's gonna be. Really it might exciting. be too much. I don't know if we're gonna be able to handle it, but we're gonna do our best. I know. <laughs> um, but we're we're super excited, and we think you guys are gonna really love everything that we're gonna be doing. Yeah, everyone just hates all the changes. We everyone just thinks they're like, ugh. Did you <laughs> hire an interior decorator? <laughs> Did you see um, what happened to Gigi Hadid when she showed her apartment? No, no. What <laughs> she happened? got roasted Wh online. Why is it? Is it a? Is it an ugly apartment? Everyone hated it. It's pretty. Who it's are oh. they? Does right? People are so but mean. Honestly, though, some of the some of the, the tweets were kind of funny. That whole fan base. I feel like. Gigi Hadid probably has the same fan base. That's as like the sick. Yeah, okay, that's a cool looking spot. I this love is, that's that. Actually, yeah, that's actually really sick. This is one oh picture. My gosh. Okay, so. Like, it's just a lot. It's, like, a lot of prints on prints right. and clashing. She has, like, a weird, like, window for pastas that are different colors or that something. Right. Like, that would be I, me. I love it. it. I need the macaroni in a drawer. But people online were just, like, ripping her apart. It looks like the one I designed <laughs> on Animal Crossing when I was nine. <laughs> I spy. Look at that. Gigi Hadid's entire house has the same vibe as this. <laughs> the I spy Shit. ones. That's so funny. Okay, that's funny. You can't tell me that's Wait, that's funny. cool. I don't. I'm like confused. That's so cool. We literally that have looks that like yeah, our that house. looks yeah. like our. <laughs> it's identical to our house. I'm like, I don't know. I like it. Oh like, my god, look at that giant pen. Yeah, like what people are like. Why is the giant pen there? It's very interesting. It's very that's for loud. sure. There was a tailgate to an old Chevy truck. That's cool. <laughs> That literally looks like it's some, that's like a bed Heath would get to. I like that bathroom. Oh, wow. That's bathroom's pretty. Bathroom's very nice. Yo, let people hate. Art is art. Ugh, I don't like that. Look at her, like, I know Heath probably likes this, this leather. leather. Look at that leather. leather. Ooh. Ooh. At least it's different. At least it's yeah, not like. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. Um, So, yeah, that's going to start. We're going to do the remainder of our episodes, and then we're going to take a week off to get it all looking ready to go. And then uh, when we return... <laughs> It is gonna be. Oh, Zane's ready for bed. He's like, I've been up too long. I've been. Uh, yeah, like I, I'm starting. I'm. I'm. I'm starting to doze off right now. Uh oh. Um. So that's coming soon, guys. So hang in there. Um. We're really excited. And then gaming. We're still waiting on everything to set it up. So um, we will keep you updated on that. We're really excited about that. <laughs> Kenny set up a little, like, what is it, a phone line? It's a little call-in uh, feature that we're going to be including in the podcast pretty yeah. soon. When do you want to start that? Today. Right now. Right, uh, right call now. Call-in today. Right now. Run it. <laughs> so basically, um, we're going to get a number that will not belong to anyone specifically, but you guys will be able to call in and um, ask a question, potentially be featured on a future episode. Um, we're just working right now, I think, on kind of the template of how we want to like structure each of the questions yeah. so that you know they don't get too long we can kind of include them in the podcast um but 
it's gonna be pretty cool That's i think cool. it's gonna yeah i think it's gonna work out pretty well and we'll try to pepper in some some questions because i get a lot of questions in the emails perfect right. so we'll we'll tell them how they can do that next episode yeah yeah i think we'll have a i think we'll have the structure by next episode. perfect okay that's exciting but all right guys that is it for today's episode thank you so much for watching and listening as always the audio comes out every single monday and the video is on youtube at zane and heath on tuesdays uh, youtube.com yeah. zane and heath make sure to get our merch at fanjoy.co slash zane and heath we have a very limited stuff left because mm -hmm. all you Fuckers took them already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, <laughs> we'll see you in a week. Love you guys. Right, we love you. We love you so much, and we'll see you next time.